Good morning, Vivek. Hope you're having a great day. Here's your daily news briefing for March 12th, bringing you the latest and personalized just for you. AI innovations and India's strategic moves. Starting with the tech world, Elon Musk is shaking things up again. His AI startup, XA, is about to make a bold move by releasing its chat GPT rival, Grok, as open source software. This comes right after Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI, accusing them of straying from their original open source mission. It's a fascinating turn in the AI community, with Grok already making waves among X's paid subscribers. Meanwhile, Anthropic has quietly rolled out Claude 3.0, pushing us closer to artificial general intelligence with its safety-focused features. And in a significant step for India's defense, the Indian Army is deploying AI to boost troop mobility and protection, showcasing projects in natural language processing and more. But it's not all smooth sailing. The energy demands of AI technologies like ChatGPT are raising sustainability concerns, given their high electricity consumption. In the startup scene, Griffin Bank in the UK has just landed a full banking license and $24 million in funding aiming to revolutionize the embedded finance space. Meanwhile, Loam Cleantech is making strides in battery recycling with a fresh $14.5 million in Series B funding, promising a greener future in energy. Shifting gears to business, India and Switzerland have inked a significant trade deal, with Switzerland committing to a $100 billion investment and 1 million jobs in India, subject to certain conditions. And on the EV front, India's commerce minister has stated that the government's policies won't play favorites, even for giants like Tesla, ensuring a level playing field for all EV makers. The Supreme Court of India is demanding transparency from the State Bank of India regarding electoral bond donors, a move aimed at enhancing transparency in political funding. And in an interesting twist, Elon Musk's ex is entering the streaming wars with a smart TV service, hinting at a direct challenge to YouTube. In health news, the phenomenon of popcorn brain is being highlighted as a concerning trend, with experts pointing to the detrimental effects of technology on mental health, especially related to social media use and multitasking. In agriculture, India is broadening its pulse import strategy by bringing in Urad Dal from Brazil for the first time aiming to diversify its sources and ensure domestic supply. Additionally, Goa's agricultural sector is set to benefit from the new Indo-Israel Center of Excellence for high-value vegetables and flowers, promising a significant boost with advanced farming technologies. That's all for today's briefing. Stay informed, stay engaged, and I'll be back with more tailored news for you tomorrow.